and Martin's playing a, a little pump organ, I think, I'm not sure some people will know that, from hearing the demo that's been released. And Daniel and Alan Wilder both suggested that maybe it could be an up-tempo disco song. Martin was really, really, really unsure about this. So we didn't record it in the first session in Milan, but we went uh, after Milan, a lot of drinking, trying to break me, trying and completing personal Jesus. We then had six weeks off and we went to Denmark to Puk Studios Puk, Puk, which is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and there was nothing to do except make music. <laughs> So we got to enjoy the silence and Martin has got I really don't think it wants to be a disco song. <laughs> I'm going, Martin, trust me. It's been going well, hasn't it? Yes. Let's try. Let's experiment. I really don't think it's going to work. <laughs> so Martin went off, he, dis but he went to his room basically for the first day while we were doing it and myself and Alan sat in the studio and so how are we going to make this into a disco song? So I said well look the easiest thing is get a track that you like and copy it. So we got a certain track and we copied it and we started off with the drums let me let me just load the session up you can't all see my password can you <coughs> let me load it up so we started off with the uh, the session uh, with basically copying these guitars, uh, sorry, the drums. Here we go. Let's just play that. Which are, some of them are actually lifted from the original song. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but I just did. So, and then the, here's the, so that, that's just a copy, complete copy of this track. I'll, I won't name it. And so we're sitting there doing this. And so Dave wasn't there for, I think Dave and Fletcher had actually gone home for the weekend. Martin's sitting in his bedroom, grumpy. And me and Alan are sitting there in the studio. So do this, okay, fine. And then I'd um, recently bought uh, a big modular Roland synthesizer and I'd been playing around with it and Alan said, oh, how does this work? And I said, well, you do this and you do this and, and that. And he, he started to play around and he said, well, should we try and do a bass sound? And I said, well, here's the bass sound, here's the sequencer. And he started fiddling around with it, and that's how the bass line came. Just so that's just a sequence on the System 700, which is a big modular synth. And he said, "Well, can you key change it?" And I said, "Yeah, that's easy." So this is sounding pretty good. Um, but Martin, no, not interested at all. Uh, so we said, well, okay, Martin, we do need a melody, like sort of a, a strong theme. So he's going, wow, yeah, right. So it comes out, and on the worst sounding synthesizer with the worst sound ever, he played, da, 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 da. we go, brilliant, brilliant, really? Yes, yes, yes. But not on that sound. 
do it. Let's try a guitar. No, I don't want to play guitar anymore. There's far too much guitar on this record already. <laughs> Just try. Just trust me, Martin. Just trust me. So he sat there and thought, well, I don't want a normal guitar sound. Well, look, you've got this new effects thing. Let's put it through that. Yes, get me a good sound. <laughs> and he's just so not into it. But he sits there and he plays that riff. Just two takes straight off. And uh, I mean, it's not the most earth shattering guitar sound, but at that moment and that time, just putting it through one processor, I think it was a bit of flange or chorus. Um, made him feel comfortable and he just played it and then he left he went back to his bedroom I don't like it at all okay Martin just give us one more day that's all I'm asking and then if you really 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 don't like it and everybody else thinks it's a waste of time then fine we'll do it your way okay so he went off and then me and Alan carried on and we did most of the rest of the music. The, the strings doing ding, or the choir sound and then the strings answering it. And then Dave came back and he did the vocals and it was pretty much done in two days. Martin, I really don't like it. But Daniel had also come over just about, I think it was a day after we finished doing the basic recording. And he sat and heard the stuff, the progress. He was the record company coming in to check up on us, make sure that we were working. And uh, so he listened to a load of tracks. And I'd done a rough mix of Enjoy the Silence, uh, which I thought was pretty good. It was like the end of the second day. And Daniel heard it and just went, amazing. It's got to be a single. That's fantastic. Martin, I really don't like it. So, everybody else, Dave, Fletch, Alan, Daniel, and a few other people heard it. Loved the track. Anyway, we go back to London after being in Denmark for six weeks and we finish off doing the brass in the middle um, and a couple of uh, bits of extra vocals and we finished the song and Francois Falkin had come in, he mixed the whole album and it was all great but Martin just went, I really don't like Enjoy the Silence. And when we were looking at him, you're mad, Martin. But he didn't like that version of the song at all. Um, but to his credit, he wanted to go on the record, and it did. But Daniel wasn't happy with the mix of it. So we had to go into another studio with a completely different engineer and mixer and we sat in the studio for three days copying the rough mix that I had done in Denmark on a cassette sitting there going oh, no just a minute let's just play the cassette of the rough mix and that's what the, the final mix is um, which is quite ironic really we could have just used the cassette there um, so that shows how different the approach was to two different tracks. One was pretty much as they would have expected it and had been used to doing and just a reworking of the demo. But the other song was a total, like nothing like they'd done before and it was done so quickly because traditionally Depeche always did, I don't know, a week, two weeks on a song, like endlessly programming, sampling, doing little bits. But this um, Enjoy the Silence was probably three days at the most to do the whole song. In fact, the bulk of the song was done in one day. Um, 
So um, that's you know two tracks from Depeche Mode. Um, it was for me. It was a very uh, informative and learn great learning experience working with a band because once everybody had relaxed it was a chance to try anything I mean literally there was nothing that we didn't try on those sessions I mean drumming, full drum kits even had all of Depeche Mode playing as a rock band Fletch on bass Alan on drums, Dave uh, obviously singing, but Martin playing this heavy electric guitar, and, and all of those things got used somewhere along the line in the sessions. Um, so um, that was working with Depeche.